Colonnades is the Littering Art Magazine at Elon University and it exhibits all student work. We've got art, photography, sculpture, fiction, non-fiction, and poetry. It is an opportunity for students to uh, get their work published, see their friends' work published. Any student who wants to be involved in any, any facet of the television business can be. ESTV is all about the students, it's for students, it's by students. It's impossible to have a television show that's driven by one person. TV shows are run by crews for a reason. Um, one person can't do everything. We have eight awesome shows and they just keep forming. We're live, bringing you the stories from around campus and across the triad. Welcome to Win Stuff. I'm Lauren Wisniewski, and this is From the Fans. Hello and welcome to One on One Sports. It's Jackson, you know my reaction to getting your emails every day. Any part of the television business you want to get into, uh, we've got a student program for it here. Um, the Pendulum's Elon University student newspaper. We produce once a week. Every Wednesday people go to the stands to get the newest edition of the Pendulum. Um, and we're hoping people are starting to turn to our website more and go there every single day to check for updates. So we're a major news source on campus. That's what the Pendulum does for Elon. I think it's really convenient to just have a newspaper that you can just open and read on Wednesdays or throughout the week, just catch up with what's going on, find interesting stories you might not have heard otherwise. Pendulum is a bunch of crazy news junkies that probably spend a little bit too much time together who does try and work really hard to get the news out to the community. It's not uncommon to see someone at 2 a.m. at night working. I mean, Monday's our big night where everyone's here all night putting the paper together and then Tuesday morning we send the pages to the printer and Wednesdays we all, um, all of our paid members who don't have an 8 a.m., we all show up at the Mosley docks around 7.45 and we deliver the papers around campus. Um, they don't just magically appear there. You see reporters come in and they're no longer just writing stories for once a week, but they're actually coming into the office and growing as journalists, which is something that's really going to help them in the future out in the work field. The yearbook basically is a summary of all the year's events, from all the on-campus student events to academic events and sporting events. Basically anything involving Elon is in this book. We also collaboratively work with the Pendulum to use some of their pictures. And then we have staff writers who attend the events and interview sources and write stories about it. And then we have staff designers who design the pages. So it's a nice process where we all work together to create the book. We are Elon's student-run radio station. We have students can do shows like specialty shows or college rock shows. A lot of freshmen, like very, you know, first-year students get involved at the station and they just like find their niche through that. There's such a big variety of, of people that have shows. Um, I've met so many different kinds of people. Um, you know, you've got, because we have so many different shows. So we have sports shows, we have people who do that, we have people who do talk shows, um, news. Uh, WSWE is just a way to have fun, a way to express your views, whether it's through music, whether it's through sports. It's just a great opportunity to get your name out there and get your voice heard, which is what WSWE is. We are the only alternative. The great thing about having been an advisor to a campus media is the chance to really get to know people in a way that you never learn about them in the classroom. Brian Baker helps us out a lot, especially um, since I'm not so great with, with all the technical stuff at the station, so he's definitely had to come to our rescue a few times. 
What an honor and a privilege to get to be an advisor for a student organization like that. Well, Colin, first off, I mean, he's not only an advisor, I'd say he's probably one of our best friends here at the Pendulum. I mean, he's not only looking over the paper weekly and sending us reminders and story ideas and not only looking at it to see that we're covering it in a journalism way, but he also lets us go into his office and we talk about our day. They love spending time with students and they're teaching more than just how to get out uh, a yearbook or how to produce a paper. Whatever questions I need, I just pop in and he just talks me through everything, but he's also done a lot of learning on your own, which has really helped me grow. They're really talking about um, how to report things in objective ways, how to do the research, the legwork that's important. He knows that this is a student publication. This is a student produced publication. So he's actually pretty hands off. Drew, Perry, and Tito Ramirez were awesome advisors. They let us do everything we wanted to do. We had a clear vision for the magazine when we started in August and they supported us 100%. You get a chance to help them grow in terms of their management skills. You get a chance to uh, understand what it is they want from life. Let me tell you, Linda's been great. Um, it, it's unfortunate that I didn't know her as well as I do now uh, last year and didn't get to work with her and I wish I, I had because she's great because she always goes to bat for the students. She's always, I mean, I feel like all the professors here are looking out for us, but we always know that like, we're her number one priority. Talk about the energy. There's so much great positive energy in the student news organizations on campus here at Elon. So their energy uh, feeds into the advisors. Rich is a really good critiquing person. Um, after every single show, we have a debrief, and he tells us exactly what we did well, what we did wrong, and then how we can grow. And it's just one of those things where you're able to build day by day uh, and become a better mentor to them because you better understand what it is that they, they need and they want from life. You know, the advisors are there to help you when, when you need it, but it's your show. So you get to do what you want, you know, within reason, uh, with the show, and you, they really let you be a leader of the program. I've never felt um, that an advisor was breathing down my neck or trying to push me in a certain direction. They really let the students have creative controls.